text description provided by the architects. Oxymoronic In the crowded moor, the silent noise of your quiet step echoed like a sigh and unchangeably altered the anarchic peace of my foreign and intimate existential dreams. From its adjacent distance, someone rebelled meekly and closed their eyes contemplating the absent scene with a diabolical beatitude that only she, or I, could try in vain, achieving it. That night you had returned without leaving and the day before you killed me with natural death. The expansion of a house in a gated community in the city of Funes is a commission that comes to us to solve a program that will practically double the existing surface area. We must work on a recognized construction supported on the boulevard of the urbanization, which has long been part of the sector's physiognomy with vegetation. The house, a white piece, with pure and elegant lines, raises valuable questions on the table. Is the expansion a completion of the same? Or, in contrast, a composition? Perhaps we can find another way of understanding two times of an apparently finished work? Thinking about making decisions in a friendly but opposed way is a possible response. In that dialogue, formal and conceptual, we design a box that fades, fragments, hides, but shows. The box closes, but also opens and practically floats behind the existing construction thus creating a recognizable piece that at times loses weight in almost all its senses, giving way to the memory of the void. A second skin envelops the facade and solves the fragmentation, lightening the presence of the new construction while at the same time delineating itself as a pure, delicate piece. This cladding composed of a succession of tubes conceals the openings, and in turn acts as sunshades protecting them from the east and west sun, fulfilling a specific function. These opposing and complementary decisions were part of the ideas and design process. The complex walk of this work seems to declare itself in the beautiful text of Fernando Larris.